back a little bit. Drop it back. Move it back. Move it back. <laughs> I'll move it back. Let me move it back a little bit. Okay. Ooh, okay, cool. <sighs> well, I hope somebody watched this. I'm way too late. That's what I get for chilling before episodes. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to talk about something today. Ooh, I'll take two. And I'm going to start at two. One. Okay. Hey, Unc. One. Do I have two? Do I have two? Okay, I'm going to wait for two, then we'll begin. Dang, don't nobody care about me like that. Hey, see, that's why I get, I knew, something told me I should have did this earlier. I should have did this earlier. I really should have. Dang, if nobody's going to watch, I'm not going to do this. I could be Netflixing. In my room. Mm, 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 mm. Dang. Okay, we could probably push this topic to next week. Okay, I got one. Can I have two? Let's go see if I can have three. Oh, I got three. So, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Jay LaFama, Direct Cup Chronicles. How are y'all doing today? Y'all yeah, know my red cup been brewing with this celebrity mess. So, I am so sorry that I did not come on last weekend. I was actually grieving for my mom. If y'all caught my Facebook status saying that I miss my mom and all this different stuff. So, have y'all ever been grieving, right? But you kind of put things behind. You kind of put things in perspective. And you think that you're over the grieving process, but it's really not. And then something or someone trigger you off. So it's all over again. So January 24th was the seventh anniversary of my mom's death. I do nothing but sleep. And Lord, please wake me up when it becomes Monday when I have to go to work. So I'm not going to tell the details, but something did trigger me a week ago that made me miss my mom all over again. And I was like, I was really a wreck to the point I didn't get online because I was still grieving over my mom. With that being said, I'm human. Let's! get into these celebrity topics oh my god so yeah if you like me you be watching these celebrity blogs and stuff so let's get on this thing all right so i'm gonna think about all the celebrities that i call myself hearing about let's go get on beyonce actually there's nothing wrong with beyonce it's just that her cousin got murdered by his girlfriend and rest in peace to the young man he looked like a fine young man in looks and in personality <laughs> So that's it, this is nothing. To, this is nothing to laugh about because a lot of domestic stuff be going on more than you think. So my thing is, whenever something happens, Beyonce, Beyonce's cousin, like it's like a huge, like that's like the headlines. Beyonce's like a like a couple like a month or two ago, Beyonce nephew got caught leaking a picture of his ex-girlfriend's private area because he got his feelings because she cheated and and it was so bad about it the look his, her nephew is as light as a little bit lighter than beyonce but the ex-girlfriend is a little bit darker to me so he said he gave the dark b some you get what i'm saying and it's like, I thought it was such a shame because I say, wow, what do they, you don't, you don't know what people teach in their households, but it's like, what make, what would make a 16, 17 year old little boy say such things at such a young age? So, you know, everything, something happy Beyonce, they put Beyonce like big old headlights. It's not funny, but again, it's like, that's how much star power, power Beyonce got. Beyonce's cousin got shot by the girlfriend. And like us, I would like to say, what's the peace to the young man? No domestic anything should go down. And I could talk about it, but we're going to get... Let's go to the next celebrity that I heard about. So Justin Timberlake is now trying to apologize to Janet Jackson for his behavior. And how come he didn't speak up with the whole Super Bowl situation when her, her left boob popped up. 
First off, black people were not tripping because this is the same person say, call me Miss Jackson if you nasty. So she didn't lose her clout with black people because black people, we know, shoo, Janet gets turned. Have you seen her concerts when she's being very provocative as ever? She wearing an all leg takes suit, making a male fan happy. Rekha. So she didn't lose her clout with black people. But she lost some of her mainstream audience outside the black community because of that whole thing. And Justin Timberlake didn't speak up. So now he also wanted to apologize to Britney because his actions towards her, I guess, during their relationship, their breakup. Remember that song, Cry Me River, when he was talking about, he was just expressing how he was feeling about Britney. She know him and stuff. So now he wanted to apologize to both of them. And the reason this whole Britney thing is so special and big now because they're having these things like, they're having this hashtag called Save Britney because she's under a conservator, ugh. Whew. conservatorship when she's under control by a bunch of people, including her dad. And don't nobody really want to deal with her dad for real. Allegedly. That's why this talk would cost. Let's talk about people who got more money than me. Allegedly. Because a lot of this stuff we going on is allegedly. Because one, I'm just a little black girl from Normandy and I'm not trying to be sued, honey. No, 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 no. You ain't suing me. What you gonna sue me for, Lent? <laughs> so, <laughs> let me see. Do I have comments? Oh, that's my comments. Oh, that's what I count. Okay. Oh, that's my comments. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So, he's apologizing to both Brittany and Janet. Some people say at least they apologize. Me, personally, and this is like a personal situation. It's kind of recent. Sometimes an apology does nothing. An apology may be too late because they look at your actions, they look at what you do, and if you continue to move the same, guess what? You're always going to move the same, and can't nobody change it but God. And God sometimes do the same work as the devil. God can't even change you. So it's, cool. it's, like, it's, it's like to some people it's cool that Justin Timberlake is apologizing. To me, some apologies could be too late. And I've seen, it's like, get some apologies. It's too late because you already did the damage and you weren't trying to fix the damage. So why are you apologizing? So off of this Justin Timberlake stuff, how are, right, it's, it's like, I just thought of something that's ironic. How is it ironic that he made up a song about Britney Spears cheat on him when there's been a lot of allegations, not now, but in like, Fears past that he's been cheating on his wife, Jessica Bill. See how things kind of turn around in 360. Wreck up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, it's like, I, it just popped in my head. And I think it's so ironic. You made up a song about this poor, this girl cheating on you. And you know what? Every relationship has its hang ups. I'm not saying that you had no right expression. It's like to it's like to me, now I think about it. You know when you listen to stuff as a child and you listen to the music, you're like, la la. Cry me a river is if I've been in my feelings was a song. Cry me a river. And he already told you how he got his feelings about he cheat, she cheating on him. He, he had a girl that looked just like Britney in the video. So, some may be happy that Justin's apologizing. I'm more like, it's been years, Justin. Maybe, isn't, and sometimes you have to look at why a person is apologizing. Ooh, you have to look at why people are apologizing to you. Or they're apologizing to you, apologizing to you because they're mean it, it's in their heart. Or if they're, or they're apologizing to you because they're trying to save themselves. People do that. Child, don't, mm -mm, don't pay attention to me because I question everything. Child, everything. Whew. Take off these glasses for a second. Okay, only way that I put back on these glasses if I can see. I can see a little bit. See, I woke up. I look all revitalized. I woke up. I woke up just like this. So. <laughs> So, we're going to get off this Justin Timberlake. So, what uh, other celebrities? First off, a lot of celebrities have been dying in the past few months between 2020 and beginning of 2021. Donald Trump. Y'all know, know Donald Trump is my favorite, my favorite subject. 
Oh, his Atlantic City Hotel blew the heck up. Hotel Casino? See, I bet you build that mud back up. You let black people in. But allegedly, right? So we're going to talk about Black China because I watched this interview with Black China with Tasha K, which is one of my favorite YouTube gossip news, whatever. Like, if you, all right, if you watch YouTube, watch Tasha K and Storm Toxic Mystique, Toxic, Toxic Mystique, she's a bit too emotional for me. Nick at night, she's logical, but I think that when they would talk about the R. Kelly stuff, a lot of people were too emotionally, um, invested so i also call like okay so i go for the gossip that's fair and gossip that's you know so tasha k has this interview with black china's best friend treasure and the reason that i remember treasure because on my personal youtube account i follow black china like heavily right maybe because i like her makeup maybe because you know stripper living it up when this regular person with degrees is living regular so the reason, yeah, but Treasure used to have this gap. So money that she had from her business or whatever closed that gap up. I ain't talking about people with gaps. If you want to close it up, you got the money for it. Wh whatever makes you happy, do that shit. That's my whole point of it. So it was an interview with Black China and Black China and her ex best friend. An express friend. I'm not gonna tell you all the interview, but she was telling, talk, talking about Black China relationship with her mama, how her friendship began and ended with Black China. Now the part of the interview that got me kind of boggled. Black China was doing all these reality shows, right? Rob and China and China, blah blah blah. Do you know that Black China did not pay any of her friends for that show, and it was on big networks. And what, from what she told was that Black China did a W-2 say, I got you to sign W-2 so I won't have to pay you and I can just write you off on my taxes. I'm like, dang. Now, I could see if you was doing something on YouTube. Ooh, girl, we on YouTube, we doing this. But if you on major networks, friend or not, I may not ask for that much money. Friend or not, with black with black China and her not putting her friends on, friend or not, baby, that may not I may not ask for for as much money, mother muffo. I need my cut. I really, 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 really need my cut. So she started going to different depths about her life with Black China, and it's like I'm not gonna call Treasure stupid for not wanting the money because what I like about Treasure. Yeah, she was telling a story to Chasha K on YouTube about Black China, but she took responsibility. She held herself accountable. Yes, I should have did better business. They liked me on the show. I should have asked for money. I should have been more business savvy when she did the W two shit on me. So I could. It's like when you can take responsibility, I rocks with you. When you refuse to take responsibility for your mistakes or you try to put blame on everybody, we all put blame on people, but sometime down the road, you're going to think. You're going to have those dark moments alone. And those moments, that's when you should really, really think about your actions. So I'm a person, if you don't want to take responsibility, you don't want to take accountability for your mistakes, fuck you and get away from me. Because one, I take responsibility for a good 90, 95 percent. I'm human, like I said. When I explained to you about the grieving process at the beginning of this episode, how I was grieving for my mom and stuff, and to this day, I'm still grieving for my mom. I'm not gonna lie, I miss her. If you look at my face, they said I'm the splitting image of my mother. Nah, I think I got, I got more, I, I'm still cute. So, I did talk about Mindy Williams. That whole Ali and Nelly beef, whatever, that I talked about last week. When all of them started doing their interviews, I was done because, and then, ooh, can I tell y'all some beef? Can I, No, can I tell y'all some gossip about me? So I was trying to, in, it's like, so I was talking about the Nelly and Ali beef, right? And I was trying to get an interview with Murphy Lee. Now, Murphy Lee is my favorite lunatic. Out of all the same lunatics, Murphy Lee is my favorite. His flow was different. His flow, his flow made more sense to me than the others. Nelly, he had a pretty boy look. 
Ali was Ali. I ain't dissing a man, and I'm not. I'm not taking his his songwriting skills away from him. But I try to get. It's like somebody saw Record Chronicles. Like, if you want to talk to Murphy Lee, please do. So I was gonna go. I. It's like if I had an interview with Murphy Lee, I was gonna go to a real studio instead of my living room. I was gonna go all. That was gonna be my shift. So when they asked Murphy Lee about me interviewing, maybe because I'm small time and maybe because I'm not a big name and that's fine, but he felt that that whole Nelly Ali beef was a family matter. I said, you know what? I can respect that because that whole beef with Ali and Nelly did blow up kind of far. And I don't want to put pressure on people. I don't want to, I don't like bad vibes. Like I said, we're going to talk, talk, we're going to talk about people who have more money than me. Alleged because a lot of allegedly has been going on with this celebrity. So I talked about Beyonce, Justin Timberlake, Black China, the Nelly shit. It's like after a couple of interviews, I was done. All I needed was that Nelly interview and that Ali Live. That whew, an hour and forty five minutes of my life. See what you do for me. See what you see what you do for see what you do for underground media. Golly, red cup, right? Yeah. What more celebrities I want? Oh, let me think of a white celebrity. I don't want to always talk about black people. Power to the people. Black History Month. So, it's this white celebrity named Ornie Hummer. He's an actor. And I'm not going to lie. I find him so attractive. But dude got some kinky stuff about him that I don't know. And I'm not your average type of girl. I'm just gonna say I'm not that average, your average type of girl. So, Arnie Hammer had this fantasy about cannibalism, how he wanted to drink a woman's blood, and what got him caught up is that he sent texts to girls that, and his ex girlfriend, his ex wife, ex girlfriend's like, yeah, that dude crazy. So because of different violent acts against women within the text or whatever, his career plummeted. Now you know what it's like being black. I hate saying it like that, but a lot of black people be losing more opportunities than you're thinking. Like I said, Arnie Hammer is fine, but I'm sorry. I would not be dating nobody that have fantasies about drinking my blood and eating my ribs. And yeah, it got kind of, it got, it's like, and I'm a true crime fan, but that got kind of gruesome. When I read, when I saw those texts, I was like, ugh. <sighs> Let me have a first date with somebody like that. You would not get a call back. I'll move to the next town. I will change. I even change my number. Let me think of some more celebrities that I heard about. So Kanye and Kim, they finally said, "Fuck it, we're getting a divorce." They say Kim filed divorce from Kanye West. Divorce breakups are always hard, and as an April, I've been single for three years. Everything with the breakup, divorce or whatnot, is hard. I'm not going to talk about it because people talk about Kim and Kanye enough and I'm quite tired of it. And I don't care what you say about Kanye. I still like him as a business person. So we're going to end that subject about Kim and Kanye because people talk about them enough. Like every time Tim, Kim take a picture. Oh my God, Kim Kardashian. Like at the beginning at the beginning of the episode, like every time something happened to Beyonce, Beyonce and big old bright lights. That's how it is. Kim Kardashian. So we're not going to talk about that. These celebrities have been cut up. And it's to the point that I feel that 2021 is the retarded because of 2020. Because you see celebrities dying like flies. And you see all this stuff going on with celebrities. So with that being said, here's the point of this episode. Yes, I did this for fun. Yes, I kind of did it for goof. Like, ha ha he he because I was grieving over my mom last week. Fame is a motherfucker. No matter how much money you have, you still have to face something in life. Just be, And money does not always buy happiness. And sometimes I want to be famous, but sometimes I wonder if I were famous. If I was famous, there'd be a lot of NDAs going on. Tiny NTI. But if I was famous, there'd be a lot of NDAs going on. Knowing how I am and knowing how... I try to live my life, and I'm like, I'm kind of, I, I isolate from, 
it's unhealthy, but sometimes I isolate myself from people. So if I was famous, there'd be a lot of NDAs. You can't say nothing until I die, and that would be part of the contract. Uh, whatever happens in my crib, shut up. I'll be taking cell phones. I'll be doing a Chris Brown take cell phones. So these are the few celebrities that I heard about. I probably heard about more, but I don't want to bore y'all. It's Friday night. Y'all trying to smoke. Y'all trying to turn up. I ain't mad at you. Shoot, I got the red cup. So I'm not mad at you if you want to turn up. It's Friday night. And the reason I do stuff on Friday night because, shoot, I ain't got to worry about waking up for work in the morning. So if you got your red cup, if you're trying to, you got a job, make, raise your red cup. If you're trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, raise your red cup. If you like all this celebrity mess, because some of that shit is funny. Mm-hmm, raise your red cup. Damn, I should have talked about Trey Songs. Nah, everybody make a point these days. Nah, I ain't gonna talk about that. So, these people are a hot mess, but they were human as fuck. So you raise your red cup. I'll think of something for next week. And I love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay beautiful. Like I said, I'm still grieving on my mom. So put your prayer hands, put your prayer arms around me because grieving is tough no matter what. Whew, I don't know what I'm going to do for me when my grandma died for like almost three years and stuff. So bye.